Well, the wind is howling outside. The rain is falling in many parts of our city. So let's check in with Danielle. How active are the next few hours going to be? Um, well, in Calgary, the most active weather looks to be out, but there could still be some more development. But uh, we went from 40 kilometer per hour gusts to 80 kilometer per hour, or almost 80 in Calgary as the storm blew through. These storms in the area of Calgary up through Red Deer and Edmonton now under the warning because of these storms really producing these very strong wind gusts that are damaging so in some areas it could be over 90 kilometers per hour we have this line of storms all of these as they move through producing these stronger wind gusts and in some cases some larger size hail as well just to zoom in uh, you can see this is now past the QE2 and off towards Big Valley more in Drumheller area and for us here in Calgary things have pretty much died out with regards to this cell still a couple isolated showers in the city but still the potential for some thunderstorm activity for these next couple hours before things quiet down. It will be a quieter day tomorrow, but a gusty day and a high of 20. I'll be back with your full forecast, Tara. Thank you, Danielle. Let's bring Danielle back in now as we look ahead to our forecast. It's a very active weather evening out there. Yes, it is. Um, clearing up in Calgary, so good news for us in Calgary, but a lot of active weather elsewhere at this point now. Um, we were at 23, 22, 23 degrees is our high for today. As this, as these storm cells blew through, it dropped our temperatures very fast, 16 degrees. And the key thing, check out the gusts that registered at the airport just now, 78 kilometers per hour. This, the wind gusts, are the key thing with all of these cells that are rolling through through um, and in some cases uh, really going over 80 90 kilometers per hour with some of these storms so the dangerous wind gusts are the main thing with these storm cells um, and then even the potential for some hail Calgary is still under the warning although I'm that will likely be dropped pretty soon because we have nothing tracking towards us right now and we've already had the systems roll through or the cells roll through uh, you can see it's still along uh, QE2 and over to the east so let me just um, show you what's happening uh, large hail and damaging gusts are the kind of the key thing for the areas for today with any of these cells, especially the gusts and then damaging gusts as well, um, possibly some of the storm cells that are passing through the southern interior of BC. So look how active it was out there today. You can see so many cells that developed today, especially a line of them um, and some of them creating those 80, 90 kilometer per hour gusts. At this point, it's passed over QE2, now around Big Valley, Moore and Drumheller and tracking towards, well, already in Gatsby, tracking towards Castor, Alliance, Hannah, Coronation. Um, another thing I want to show you is Calgary here, and you can see things have really moved out of Calgary, and we have a clearing now. We have nothing tracking towards us at the moment, but still the potential for some isolated showers or thunderstorms. Uh, a key thing, though, looking at these cells, just north of Standard, this one likely producing some hail, as you can see right here, and one closer to Drumheller, just to the south, likely producing some hail as well. So when we're looking at hail, there have been reports with some of these cells already. Nickel size hail is certainly possible. We have strong wind gusts. Our peak wind gusts in Calgary as the storm blew through, 98 kilometers per hour. Um, so this is something to absolutely take seriously. But again, we're pretty much in the clear now for Calgary. We are pretty much done with this stronger line of cells and that's tracking off to the east and we'll continue to do so as we go through these next couple hours and then it'll quiet down for the overnight hours. Then we're looking at sunshine for much of tomorrow as that system really spins to the north, producing rainfall in central Alberta. Capital Chef five-day forecast, 20 degrees, so cooler for tomorrow, into the 20s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then when you look at Father's Day weekend, it looks like it will be a rainy one with cooler temperatures once again. Tara? Thank you, Danielle. In fact, we had gusts closer to 100 kilometers per hour. It was short-lived, but it was able to knock down a tree in the northwest community of Highland Park. Uh, this is just off Center B Street in the community. So uh, you can see all this active weather we had in Calgary and that we had along QE2. It's been a very busy day. We are certainly well into storm season. Uh, when we look at the sky cam now, Capital Chef sky cam, you can see things have quieted down now. It's still gusty in Calgary, uh, and we are still looking at uh, the potential for some pockets of showers, but that line of thunderstorms has passed through Calgary and we are now the severe thunderstorm warning that was previously in Calgary has now been dropped like we were talking about a little earlier. So we are done with the activity here in Calgary, but some other communities still getting a lot of active weather. 16 is the current temperature. Our high was 26. We dropped 10 degrees as these storm cells passed through Calgary. So the temperatures dropped fast, the winds picked up fast, the clouds uh, blew in and the 
sky certainly got dark. So this is one of these days, of course, if you see a thunderstorm approaching to take it seriously for today, especially in these areas. You can see just to the east of Calgary uh, in the orange here, this is a severe thunderstorm warning, which is still in place, but no longer in place for Calgary. Peak gusts in Calgary, 98 kilometers per hour. That's why trees went down. Uh, 63 kilometers per hour in Pincher Creek, 80 for Red Deer. So as some of these cells are blowing through, they're certainly creating these dangerous wind gusts. Um, and then also some of them even producing some hail. So this is that line of storms that we're looking at. There's another line developing behind it, a little less severe, but certainly something to watch as well. Uh, this is blown through QE2 and now heads up Coronation, Alliance, Castor. These are moving into those areas, potentially even Hannah, Youngstown. You're seeing some of this as well. Youngstown, you'll be about seeing that. Okay, when we look at Drumheller, this one just passed right near Drumheller. It looks like it was producing some hail. So it's now just to the east and it's tracking towards the northeast and again Hannah some of this activity on its way to you Youngstown as well um, and again some of this producing some nickel size hail and certainly some damaging winds for us here in Calgary this has cleared out and we're looking at a quieter day for tomorrow in most communities into the 20s for Salmon Arm, Kelowna and Kamloops uh, Edmonton 15 degrees so showers for central Alberta for tomorrow but more stable to the south it will be a little windy at times though keep in mind up to 40 even 50 kilometers per hour out of the west. 20 degrees is our high for Calgary, so six degrees cooler than it was today. 60 kilometer per hour gusts possible in Lethbridge and in Medicine Hat. Looking at that capital Chev seven day trend, we are looking at dropping for tomorrow again to 20 degrees. We'll be in those 20s right through the work week, but then it's a cooler, windier, rainier weekend ahead. Tara? Thank you, Danielle.